So we've all been brainwashed by the media, by our peers, by our parents, by our mentors, teachers, to achieve this thing called success. And no one ever defines success for us, right? You could look up the definition of it in, in a dictionary that would do large injustice to you. Because success is really a random, arbitrary thing. If you think about words, what are words? They're meanings of association. They're just ideas, thoughts that we learn to attach to a concept that's different in everybody's eyes. If you're going to achieve something, you must have a firm grasp on what exactly that is. So what is success? That's the first step. What is going on everybody? I am back with another NBA 2K15 My GM video. Now starting off this video right now, we are taking a look at our roster and Joel Embiid is finally healthy again, coming off of his broken foot injury. Hopefully we can see a lot of production from him in this season. Now real quick, I wanna set a quick like goal. If we can hit 100 likes in 24 hours, I will upload episode 3 tomorrow for you guys, so be sure to hit that like button. But getting into the draft lottery right here, after going 20-62 and 62 on the season, we have a 19.9% .9 chance of getting the very first pick in the draft. Phoenix has the best chance at 25, and the Chicago Bulls have the worst chance at 0.5. So going through the draft lottery, there are, there's a lot at stake right now. Many of these young prospects can turn into future NBA stars, so we really need a high pick in this year's draft, and it is looking amazing for us. We end up getting the second pick in the draft, so you already know what that means. We are either getting Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, or a Jalil Okafor, so the Philadelphia 76ers are looking prime and ready to go for the NBA draft. But taking a look at our record, we were 20-62 and 62 in the regular season. Now obviously, I simmed through the entire season, and as you guys can tell from the intro, we are looking for success. We need success and we need to win a championship, and all of this starts with the coaching staff. So we end up firing Brett Brown up here in a few seconds, because he, he led us on this 20-62 and 62 record, and doing that bad and coaching this team is just absolutely unacceptable in my eyes. Now we're also looking for a new assistant coach. As I said before, we are trying to completely retool this coaching staff and there are a couple former NBA players like Dirk Nowitzki, Ray Allen, Luke Ridnor, but we will get into that in a few. So we ended up firing, firing Brett Brown right here, letting him down gently. I mean, what can you do with a team of a bunch of 70 overall players? So in our new coach, we need a, somebody young and somebody with a lot of potential. And that guy is Michael Goodrich. The young coach, coming from nothing, never coached in the NBA before, is taking the reins as the new head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. Let me know what you think about me getting a young coach in the comment section down below. Now, for the assistant coach, we needed a former NBA player. A player who knows what it's like to grind in the NBA and to make something of their careers. Now, obviously, Luke Renor isn't that player, but it came down to Dirk Nowitzki or Ray Allen we ended up taking Ray Allen as our assistant coach. We'll see how he does this season and if anything, we can go ahead and fire him in the next season. So Ray Allen and Michael Goodrich, welcome to the Philadelphia 76ers. Now taking a look at our pending options, Isaiah Cannon and Hollis Thompson both have pending options, a team option and a two-year team option. We ended up letting go of Isaiah Cannon but keeping Hollis Thompson because he has a ton of potential and is a huge perimeter threat for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now taking a look at the players who did decline their offers, Al Jefferson, D. Wade, Brooke Lopez, Kevin Love, Jamal Crawford, I mean a bunch of players, this, uh, they just declined their offers. So let me know in the comment section down below, should I go for a big name free agent this offseason? Should I wait until off season, next offseason with Anthony Davis? Or should I try to rebuild through the draft and through trades? Let me know in the comment section down below. But this episode is shortly coming to an end. As I said before, if we get 100 likes within 24 hours of this video, I will upload episode number 3 tomorrow. So be sure to smash that like button for me. Thank you guys for all the insane support. And I will see you guys 
real soon. Like they on repellent, uh, they so jealous. I'ma do shit to just piss them off. Say you never heard me, it's yo lost. They biting on my freestyles. They tell me make my money fronting on that weed style. I tell them I be too old for it. And I gave my brother my ID. She independent, bet these bitches never find me. I hope they don't find him though. Cause they be knocking on my door, now they looking through my window.